My two days hiking in Canada's Jasper National Park were rewarded with spectacular views and surprisingly pleasant weather. I had no car with me with which to get around, but I didn't need one. All these views were within walking distance. So was access to food and a warm place to sleep. The late March sunshine and crisp air were ideal for moving around under my own power. Crowds would come in the summer, but during my time here I often found myself alone just a mile or so from the train station. Speaking of trains, here's Via Rail's Canadian, the train that took me back to Vancouver. This switching yard ran right through the heart of the park. Returning one day from a hike, I had to wait for a long train of tank cars before I could cross and return to my hotel. As in the United States, the Transcontinental Railroad in Canada was an extremely challenging project designed to keep the country unified. The Canadian Railroad also provided a major push to create national parks and to transport passengers there. I had arrived at Jasper during spring break and now I was returning to Vancouver and later to Eugene, Oregon on the train. This was the last leg of the cross-country trip. Some passengers had been on the Canadian for three days and we still had another day to go. As soon as I could, I scampered up to the dome car where I got this view. At the rear of the train is a dome viewing car, like the one I was in. This one was for first class passengers in the sleeping cars. I was in the coach dome car. The dining car separated the coaches from the sleeping cars. The dome car allowed me to see the oncoming freight train on parallel tracks. Below the observation deck, the dome car offered snacks for sale and tables at which to enjoy them. The dome car offered more than a great view. It was a place filled with excitement and positive energy great place for children and families. At one point, we skirted a large frozen lake. Oh, nice. Is that a glacial moraine? Is that a glacial moraine? On the other side of that, on the other side of that, there's another valley that has some headwaters of the Columbia River. Really? Wow. They're all very close together. Wow. So I'm trying to imagine it when that's thought, it's probably that deep blue kind of color that bluish green. Bluish green. On the return trip, 
we pass the eastbound Canadian. You can see the dome cars. Jasper National Park to Vancouver is just a small segment of the Canadian's four-day route, but it's a rich section, rich in scenery, conversation, and adventure. Yeah, I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 I'm going to go to the hospital